Hello, my friends. Teacher Stefan here. Realistic fiction is our topic today. A pet that fits is the title of our story. Take a look at the animals below. Can you see the cat, Dalmatian dog, budgie bird, goldfish, frog, bunny rabbit, tortoise, mouse? Did you ever choose a pet in the pet store before? Once upon a time, did you ever beg and plead, please, mommy, please, daddy, can I have a pet? Maybe they took you to a store where you could choose a rat or a fish, a turtle or a snake. How did you decide? What kind of animal do you like? Have you ever taken care of pets? Do you take care of pets now? Maybe you have a pet, a pet cat or a pet dog. Or maybe you were babysitting for one of your neighbor's animals. What's it like? Do you enjoy spending time with animals? Some animals are nice. You can pet them and stroke them and love them. And they either purr or they lick your face. But some scratch. Some are misbehaved and chew on the furniture and pee on the floor. Let me ask you, why might it be difficult to keep a large pet in an apartment? Well, the larger the pet, usually the more mess they make. They have more hair. They have more poo-poo. They need more exercise. Pets are like humans in that they need to be social. They can't be left alone all the time. They need walks, they need sun, water, and fresh air. Most importantly, all pets need love. So without further ado, let's begin our story, A Pet That Fits. Here we can see two girls feeding apples to a beautiful horse. This pet maybe requires the most time, energy, patience, and money any pet there is. Ella spent her vacation on the farm where her cousin Grace lived. Grace had a pony called Toffee. What a perfect name for a pony. He was called Toffee because his hair was the color of toffee candy. Yeah, it's like that delicious caramel color. His ears twitched happily when he ate apples from Ella's hand. Every day, Grace and Ella brushed Toffee's coat together. Yes, to keep horses healthy, free of bugs, clean and pretty, you have to brush them every single day. The girls fed him special food like oats and beets. They took extra special care of Toffee. Yes, horses need special food, and horses eat a lot. Do you see the brushes the girls are using? These are special horse brushes. They're very strong. You can't use them on people. When Ella returned home, she missed Toffee very much. Can I have a pony? Ella asked her parents. No, we can't keep a pony in our apartment, Dad said. A pony needs lots of space. Look how shocked the dad is. That's right. You can't keep a pony inside. Only in the winter, when they stay in the barn to sleep. Ponies belong out in the fresh air, in the fields and grass. A pony has to run every day. And it needs fresh air and sunshine, said Mum. Ella was sad that she couldn't have a pony. Me too. I always wanted a dog. But I understand why my parents said no. It's a lot of work. At breakfast, Ellen said, if we moved to the country, I could have a pony. 
Ah, so they live in the city, in a small city apartment. But you could go out into the country where land is cheaper and you can buy more and have more space. But how would I get to work on time? Mom asked. How about finding a pet that will fit in our apartment? Dad asked. Great idea. So forget the pony. Ella knew her parents were right. So she was excited about choosing a new and different pet. Hmm. If she wants a horse, maybe she can get a seahorse or a horse fly. <laughs> They're much smaller. Look at their breakfast. Toast and oatmeal. Orange juice. Is this what you have for breakfast? Can a horse eat this? Cat? Dog? Probably. Dogs eat everything. The next Saturday morning, Ella asked, can we go to the pet store today? Of course we can, said mom and dad. That's exciting. Dad is drinking coffee. Mom is working on the computer. But it's Saturday. It's the weekend. Time to go have some fun. Oh, here they are at the pet store. How many fish can you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and maybe even nine. A little tail behind the plant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, maybe even 10 fish. I forgot the pink one. Here's mom and dad and little Ella looking at three baby puppies. That afternoon, they took the bus to the biggest pet store in town. What adorable, which means very cute, puppies, said Ella. But our apartment is too small for a dog, said mom firmly. And she's right. Even though you may want a dog, if you don't have room for the dog, it will be unhappy. There were a hundred different kinds of pets. Ella looked at kittens, frogs, turtles, birds, goldfish, rabbits, and even mice. Rabbits are cute, but they need lots of attention. They are very shy. And if you don't treat it nicely, it will be scared its whole life. There were so many animals that Ella didn't know which pet to choose. She needed a small pet, but which animal would be best? It was hard to decide. Do you think a cat is a good pet for Ella? Not that noisy, smaller than a dog. How about a bird? They make a lot of noise and they're hard to pet. Mice? Hmm, I'm not sure. <laughs> the birds were all chirping and squawking. Over the noise, she heard a short song. But which bird was singing? The yellow bird? The blue bird? The green bird? The birds with the red heads? Then Ella spied. She saw a bright yellow canary bird. He started his song again. And Ella thought he was singing just for her. It was the most beautiful sound she had ever heard. Finally, Ella knew which pet she wanted. What type of pet did she want? a bright yellow canary bird. It's so cute. Ella carried the canary home in a new cage. You can try that five times fast. Ella carried the canary home in a new cage. And the other children on the bus stared. Ella was pleased with her pet. Why do you think they stared? Jealousy? No. It's an interesting thing to see a bird on a bus. For me, every time I see cute babies, I can't help but stare with their chubby cheeks and wispy hair. I'm going to call him Sonny because he's yellow like the sun, said Ella happily. At home, dad hung Sonny's cage up in the living room. Sonny sang loudly. 
Listen to him sing, said Mum. I think Sonny will fit in, which means get along with us, our family, our routine, just fine, said Ella. Summary of the story. Well, look at these cute little canaries here. A pet that fits is about Ella and the pet she gets instead of the pony she thought she wanted. Ella would like a pet pony, but mom and dad help her choose a more suitable, appropriate, a better gift, a better pet for an apartment in the city. Answer me this. Why did Ella feel sad at the beginning of the story? Because she wanted a pony and couldn't have one. Right? M -m 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 Mommy, daddy. Because she couldn't have the pony like her friend did out in the country. What happened in the middle of the story? Ella's parents decided that they could get a different pet, right? Ella and her parents went to the pet shop, the biggest in town, to choose a pet. Why did Ella name her canary Sunny? Because Sunny was the name of her old bird? Or I'm going to call him Sunny because he's yellow like the sun. She named the canary Sunny because the canary was yellow just like the sunshine. What is the story mostly about? Is it about family? Or is it about a girl named Ella who has to choose a pet that will fit in her apartment? Yeah, it's about finding the right fit, finding the suitable pet. What kind of pet did you think Ella would choose at the beginning of the story? I thought something maybe with four legs, like a horse. Uh, maybe you thought a small pet, such as a bird like the canary, or maybe even a fish or a mouse. Or any other ideas? Certainly not a horse, no. Why did Ella get a bird for a pet? She thought the canary was singing just for her. Well, let's back it up. First, she wanted a horse or a pony, but couldn't have one because their apartment was not big enough. That's why she chose the yellow canary instead. Do you think a canary is a good pet for an apartment? Why or why not? Personally, me, Stefan, I don't like birds as pets. Birds were meant to fly, right? They don't have arms and fingers. They have wings and feathers. If I were born a bird, I would want to be free to explore the sky. But that's just me. What do you think? Okay, friends, your homework. You have to make a chart. So your chart will have the heads in the country and in the city, okay? These are your two titles. I want you to write three animals that would be better that would be better in the country and three animals that would be better in the city. If you want, you can even write your reason why. So in the country, horse, it needs lots of sunshine, lots of outdoor time, lots of room to run. City, you could write some types of cats, indoor cats. Some cats can go outside and inside, but indoor cats will not be able to find their way inside, or they'll get eaten by other animals, or they'll get hit by cars, or they'll eat things they shouldn't. So those are city cats, but you can have country cats too. Something like that. You can choose six new animals. Talk to your family about the story. Talk about animals that could be kept as pets in your home. Maybe your home already has fish. Maybe your home is big enough for a small dog. Everybody's different. I'm Teacher Stefan. I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.